On this day in history, in 1852, Henry Wells and William Fargo joined with other investors to launch a company that is today one of the world's largest banks, Wells Fargo. Now, they started this business after the gold rush in California, contracting with independent stagecoach companies to deliver gold, important documents, and other valuable freight. This remains one of the biggest banking institutions in our country. Now, on this day in 1942, the U.S. created the War Relocation Authority, one of, the, of its most controversial policies in history. Now, this was created after the bombing of Pearl Harbor, the act that rounded up more than 120,000 Americans of Japanese descent and then placing them in internment camps. Then in 1990, the U.S. government formally apologized and sent surviving internees and their descendants a check for $20,000. And on this day in 1911, Irving Berlin copyrighted the biggest pop song of the early 20th century called Alexander's Ragtime Band. The simple, catchy tune went on to sell millions of copies and turned American pop music into a major international phenomenon. Berlin was no one-hit wonder either. He went on to produce songs like White Christmas, God Bless America, and There's No Business Like Show Business. Now, celebrating birthdays today, actress Lily Collins, she's 31, singer Adam Levine, he's 41, and both an actress and a singer, Queen Latifah, is 50 years old. Happy birthday to you if it's your birthday.